Hey guys, John from Fly Mike Alpha, and today we're going to be talking about angle of attack and actually visualizing and seeing what angle of attack actually looks like as we're taking off in an airplane. So we're sitting up here in a CRJ 900. I know it's a jet, but it works exactly the same as any other airplane, same as your basic Cessna or Piper or anything else. And it's kind of a rainy day here in Charlotte that we're taking off out on. So you can see the rain kind of streaming back on the window as the airplane accelerates. And you see it streaming back. It's at a slight angle, but not really much. And then as the airplane rotates and the nose pitches up to about 15 degrees, you notice this big change in the angle of the water streaming over the window. That's actually angle of attack. So the airplane, as it initially rotates, imagine this big, heavy A380 rolling down the runway. Its nose lifts up and pitches up to 15 degrees. There's now a 15 degree angle of attack, the angle between the wing and the wind, 15 degrees. As the airplane leaves the ground, you'll actually see the water not at such a steep angle anymore because the airplane's no longer at a 15 degree angle of attack. Now that it's climbing, it's at a much shallower angle of attack all of a sudden. So although the nose is pitched up to 15 degrees, the airplane's not climbing out at a 15 degree angle it's climbing out at about an eight degree angle, about 2,500 feet a minute and doing about 200 knots or so. So with that eight degree angle up in a 15 degree nose high attitude, well, that leaves us with about a seven degree angle of attack. And that's pretty reasonable. That makes sense. We know most airplanes stall around 15 to 20 degrees angle of attack. And so that makes sense that the jets climb out about seven degrees angle of attack where there's a good balance between lift and drag. Same as the airflow on your Cessna 172. As you lift the nose up, you have a very high angle of attack. As the airplane starts to leave the ground and climb, you have a little bit lower angle of attack. But this is twofold, right? So in cruise flight, we have a very small, shallow angle of attack, maybe just, you know, three, four degrees. But if we were to keep the airplane level, nose pitched at the horizon, and start descending it, at maybe five degrees down without pitching the nose down, we would actually increase our angle of attack because the air is now coming from below the wing and meeting the airplane at a steeper angle. And therefore, it's a higher angle of attack, the angle between the relative wind and the cord line. It's all about the relative wind, what air is actually hitting the wing and from the angle that it's coming at and the angle that the airplane is moving through the air, not the pitch angle, the angle that the aircraft is actually moving through the air itself and the wing is moving through the air itself versus its pitch angle. So if it's pitched up 10 degrees and it's climbing at 10 degrees, that would be a zero degree angle of attack. But if it's pitched up 10 degrees and just staying level and level flight, zero degrees climb or descending, then you have a 10 degree angle of attack. Hopefully that explains angle of attack a little bit better, being able to see it, visualize it, and seeing how it interacts with the airplane. Remember, all these airplanes work the same, whether it's the tiniest little Cessna or the biggest, heaviest jet in the world. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest episodes. Make sure you check us out every Monday and Thursday for our latest videos. And as always, if you cannot fly every day, then flyatmikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.